This is Great White. I've been living inside Great White for almost four years now. I'm gonna be taking you guys inside my house today to show you around the old and new and how the van stood up over the last four years. All links of items I used to build this van are in the description below. My name is Ryan Bell, and I chose to live in this 2002 Ford Econoline that I built into my own stealth RV. The outside is deceptively a work van, but the inside is my home. That was until I bought my next van to build, and eventually I'll live in my future sailboat. Van life is like a free hotel room wherever you go, allowing you to save money while working less hours, and it's highly accessible for anyone who wants to live differently from the normal nine to five. So this is where I would cook everything. So I would grab a pot from up here. Down here, I have this hole cut out just in case the bed is all the way out. You can actually still reach under up under there for the propane tank. Open it up and then put the gas on and have the fire going. Just sit there and cook. And when I need to turn the flame off, I turn it off from down here first. So you let out the, all the gas from the line, then turn this one off. You know, eat whatever I needed to do and then wash things out with the little scrubby. So if I wanna take a shower, just reach in here, grab the sink. You know, you can pull it out a little bit more and just uh, rinse off right here. I usually go to Planet Fitness though. This switch right here, I can switch the sink on. I can make it not do anything. And then there's another, it's actually a three-way switch. Do you hear that? There's actually a pump from the outside that pumps water in to the tank. I don't know if you can see it very well because it's kind of dark, but the bottom one right here, it's seven gallons of gray water and the top one is seven gallons of clean water. And those are both underneath the TV. Since there is a propane tank and it's not actually exterior vented, I do have this very loud alarm that goes off. <laughs> Everyone around here probably just heard that. That's a propane leak detector. So now over here, I have my, basically, my media studio set up. Um, there is a full music studio in here, as you see the speakers on the side. This TV is rested on this towel. You know, like driving down the road, it, it doesn't bump up and down too much. Actually, there's something in the back here. You pull down this little thing right here and it makes the TV come off the wall. And what I can do is angle it to where I can just, you know, lay back on the bed and have a nice little watch of the TV or whatever. Look out the window, nice. So you guys might be wondering how I'm getting TV in the van in the first place. And actually right now I am using my phone as a hotspot. That data comes from actually currently Walmart. So let me uh, load up something real quick and see how long it takes. And uh, by the way, while this is loading, I am in Eno River State Park. This, this uh, state park never gets good internet. But uh, let's see, let's load up The Witcher. One of my favorites right now. See how long that takes. And remember, I'm in a terrible connection area. Oh, and uh, I'm gonna put on these speakers. So yeah, basically, that's it. Force you to move beyond the pain. And this is season two, by the way. I don't want to spoil it for anyone. This is my gaming setup. I'll show you real quick, uh, you know, a lot of these games I have. I have tons and tons of these games on uh, Steam. I do have a video of me playing video games and how all this works and how, how you can do it without having to be connected to a house outlet. So while this is loading, I'm going to show you up, up top. So up here, I have my two solar panels, and in between you actually see the Max Air fan. Each one of these is 150 watts, and so total I have 300 watts of solar. To come back in, here is my Max Air fan. And this Max Air fan uh, works with this remote that I keep right here, and as you can see, it goes up as I put on the, you know, does it everything automatically. Right now it's on 10%, but I can put it all the way up. And it works pretty well. The game just kicked on. This is mainly to, you know, just expel the air and just keep it going, circulating. But yeah, I use this also for cooking because it gets rid of all the, you know, the smells and everything. So here is the game I've been playing. 
And I am outside, by the way. <laughs> Ooh. Oh god, I fell. But yeah, you get that. <laughs> These are actually Futhark runes that I put all the way across here. You can see behind here. I would burn these myself, but I've honestly forgotten what each one means. The only one I remember is the second one right here. This one means vehicle protection. Okay, so moving down here, I got my controllers for the TV. This one's for the lighting system, the mood lights that are up underneath. I'll show you that later. But right now I'm using my phone as a hotspot. So uh, for the computer and just everything for Wi-Fi. Down here I have lots of cords. This one's actually charging the GoPro battery right now. And these charge phones. I have all different types of cords to charge any type of phone. Right here, this is the original Bamet air purifier. So these lights are cycling between poor, good, and excellent quality air. I don't know if that's accurate. So I don't really care about any part of this except for that it puts out negative ions. That's the big part of this. It'll get rid of a smoke smell, especially if maybe there's like a dog gets in here and it's like a wet dog smell. It'll actually make that go away. Down here, I have my Xbox controller for gaming when I'm not using my gaming mouse and keyboard. And I actually use this, I input directly with the cord. The next thing is hilarious, $150 yo-yo. A friend gave it to me, so I didn't buy it. It's aircraft aluminum. This is a MOGA controller for a phone. You would put this up, put your phone in there. Pretty good to have in a van because you can play with your tablet or whatever too. You remember what was over here before, don't you? Well, I got the new one and now it is a P365 Sig Sauer with the Romeo red dot on it. See right there? I think that's pretty sexy if you ask me. Now right here I have the eraser for this dry board. Uh, you know, dry erase marker board, whatever. My sunglass hut lens cleaner kit. I actually clean all my cameras with this, plus my sunglasses. Down here actually is the foot area, so I can put my feet in when I'm just, you know, laying around or whatever. I actually have a tool battery charger. Here on these sliding doors, you got the MPPT solar charge controller, and you got the two switches. This top one turns off the solar panels, and the bottom one actually disconnects the battery. That's just in case I need to fix anything. Right here, this is a music interface. Down here, you might not be able to see it, but it's the Pod HD. It's it's put in sideways down. Um, that actually is where I hook up my guitar to play any type of guitar sound I want over this speaker. I plug this in right here. I plug in my microphones right here, which I keep my microphones over on this side in this bag. I can record music right here. This is my inverter. It's a 600 watt inverter. Pretty much the only thing it powers is the these and a computer. Everything else in here is 12 volts. The first battery I had was actually a flooded lead acid. You know, it has off gases, so I had to vent that battery, which if you look on the outside, you can see that vent right here on the side. Now what I have in there is the AGM batteries. That's up underneath this wooden box right here. Okay, so the original point of having a guitar in here and a music studio was to actually have a somewhat of a concert like a live concert out the back of the, the the van or the side of the van so then like people can just come up and it can be open mic night you know where i just have the guitar and a mic sitting out and they just come up and they just start singing or doing whatever you know and they're having fun let me show you my lighting system in here, I have six lights, two in the back, two in the middle, and two in the front. So I can actually use this switch right here to turn them on and off. And then also there's another light, um, if you can see around the outside, it's on um, beat mode right now. So every time I hit, it goes to the beat.
All right, so next up we got the food area. I built this pantry out of the old wood from my old studio table and I glossed it over. You push in to open, you can put boxes up top and then small cans up underneath that ledge. And it's all up on this uh, non-stick pad right here, all the way across. This is all my silverware. And then I got plates, um, all my cutting utensils, just everything to prepare. And you need your Absinthe Superior Lucid Cup for drinking liquids that are more adult and I am the best person ever. Yes, I bought this cup for myself. <laughs> I did it as a joke. I don't really think that actually, maybe, I don't know, I don't. So this refrigerator, it, it works perfectly now that I added that second solar panel up here, but I currently have it off just cause I'm transitioning to the new van and building that one. You can see inside how much space there is. I had to make it open from this side. I know it's backwards and it's on this little latch down here. Under here, this is normally where I store it, my computer bag, but under that I have all my clothes and stuff. So this is normally the clothes I'm using for this season. The clothes that I'm not using is actually, this is a treasure chest style bed, so I can open it like this. So, oh, this is all the clothes for usually the winter time, which is actually, or, or the summertime, whatever, what other season is not currently in use. So this is the bed, like I said. Um, currently it is in couch mode, as you can see the back of it just rests up against the wall. I do not ever sleep like this way. I always convert it. So I put my pillow and get this thing down. Now this whole entire wooden panel comes off. You can see this is a whole entire piece right here. Uh, I push and get this down into place down here. It's pretty simple. Yes, I do this every single time I make my bed. And then these come over. This is bamboo. This is naturally antimicrobial and it keeps all the smells away. And so is my pillow up here. I recommend it highly to everyone who lives in a van or who's going to live in a van. It's also very warm during the winter and it's it actually doesn't get too hot during the summer. So on, on the bed, you know, spread out. There's a lot of room. I can sit Indian style up here. I can cook. I can clean. If you really want something even more comfortable, you put this pillow behind you on the wall and just relax while you can play the video games, you know, with the controller or something from far away. So this wall that I built, it allows me to mount things on there that you wouldn't be able to do if there was just a curtain. This is inch thick, so there's lots of insulation in the middle of it. And then it allows me to also make a door now on the front, I made it all black, so it would be more stealthy if someone looked in from the front of the van there, they just see shadow or something, you know? I put these mirrors on here because, you know, you need to look at yourself in the morning. I also cut my hair right here. I'll put some uh, mats down here to cut, catch all the hair, and then I'll just sit here and use the uh, beard trimmer, actually, to do the whole entire, uh, I've cut my hair now for the last eight years. This is actually a coat hanger. Then I have all my pots up here, um, also, on non-stick. These, of course, you, if you can't get to a shower, right? But the thing is, is that you can just go to Planet Fitness to shower. You don't necessarily need these. Back here, this there's actually a uh, hole. It's actually where I switch the, the mood lights from, you know, any color I want to or anything. So I have to aim the controller up there. So this door, it actually comes all the way over and you see this little thing right here. I have a latch, it actually locks in place. So when I'm driving down the road, it's not just swinging freely. Right here, I have the seat out. I took it out on purpose because normally this is where I would put my bicycle. Now I don't have my bicycle with me. It's down in Florida. In one month from now, I'm going to pick it up because I, I was working in this van and needed space for all this work equipment. It's a very interesting job. I would go around and uh, photograph people in uh, colleges uh, to make money. Right here, you can see I put this little hook. This is actually just for the trash. This over here is stuff for me to fill up my water in the back, the hoses, and also uh, this, this big uh, jug. I'll show you that in a second. And then this is actually the chimney. Okay, so the question probably everyone's been wondering about this entire video, this is the wood stove. I got a lot of stuff to clean out of there right now. I've been using it a good bit since it's the winter time. But yeah, this is basically called the uh, Cubic Mini Wood Stove on cubicminiwoodstoves.com. You can get it there. 
Um, I spent about maybe 800 to 1,000 on it. I kind of forget. But yeah, it has all this reflective and insulation uh, kind of things around it to keep the, the wood cool and no this is far enough away to you know keep it cool i can actually even leave these bags down there while it's on because the the heat just doesn't go down that way for some cool reason you know i buy these at walmart they're little blocks of wood and uh they they burn for at least an hour before having to put more back in watch my video on the wood stove i have one specifically for it also coming outside the van now and looking back up, you can see that the chimney is up. So that's the chimney right there. And what I can do is just take it off. And this right here, I painted the top so it doesn't crack over time in the heat. And it just kind of stays in place when you put it like that. And it's a lot lower and it's not as noticeable. So this is actually a drawer that's put on a slow close um, mechanism, whatever you call those. These are things that I use daily except for the liquor flask. I use this hourly. And then down below I actually have my gimbal um, put in pieces. A lot of that other stuff is dive equipment, stuff in this netting bag. This is water purification kind of stuff if I'm hiking. A med kit down here, a first aid kit. This hydro flask is amazing. It's very lightweight. It's made to go on the back of a backpack. There's a heat source right here and a heat source right here and I used to put my fire extinguisher here. So since I've actually moved my fire extinguisher down below the, uh, the foot of the bed. So you see right here the red switch. When I turn that on that actually turns on the isolator what that does is when i'm driving there's there's wires that go underneath the van and come up in between here back to the back battery so that actually charges my system um, while i'm driving from the alternator of the van don't necessarily have to rely on the solar panels which actually could not work too well in a cloudy day see the amount of room i have up here the how the seat is laid back i always love driving with the seat laid back a little bit and this is perfect since there was some room here I put the water right there. These are the spigots I use to fill and empty. And then also this one also fills with the pump that I showed you on the inside. Right here, this is the wastewater. It'll come out faster if I open it all the way up. So what I would do is actually put this in. And what this is, is an RV water filter, KDF carbon, high flow. So I can fill this up wherever I go out in the world, come back, place this thing on the ground. And when I turn that switch on that I showed you, it would actually just suck all the water in. See these two hoses actually come out of the side right here because that is actually the vents to both of those seven gallon tanks underneath the TV. A lot of people say that the vans get dirty very easily, which I disagree. I think a house gets dirtier way quicker, but they do get dirty nonetheless. And uh, so I have this same as the original. This is uh, my dad's actually beforehand. I just took it. <laughs> sweep off the floor, you know, and it's that easy. You get around stuff. Just sweep it out the back because it's right there. The bathroom. And yes, uh, <laughs> Overnight, I put that right there next to me so I can use it while I'm sleeping. Uh, otherwise, I do keep them down here underneath the bed so no one sees them if they're full. <laughs> if I need to go number two, I go to a gas station or a Walmart. And usually I have to go in the morning, so I just, I'm already there. So I just go inside and go. I actually made this space right here for a toilet, but I just decided not to take it because my first maiden voyage in here showed me that I didn't need it. And if there's an emergency, hey, you got the woods. Notice the ceiling I put in is actually made of cedar and I, I use the angled pieces on both sides and the on the back. Yeah, cedar, it chases away the bugs. It repels the bugs. They use that in um, closets and stuff to keep away moths and things like that. You can see the trim. That's uh, what I did for the, you know, the wood stove. Okay, so let me show you up underneath this bed. This is a treasure chest style bed. I put a handle right here to lift up. Um, once it's up, I made this piece of wood specifically to hold the bed up high like that. Over here, I said I have my seasonal clothes that's currently not in use. Um, dive boots, I got all my dive gear because I love free diving and I actually get dressed into it right here inside the van. Okay, this is actually my backpack uh, to go on multi-day hikes. Micro chair. This is my medicine bag and it has rubbing type of things in there. 
you know? I'm just kidding. I said that again because I said that in my first one. Everyone thought this was like jack off lotion. No, this is actually a pillow that's a gel pillow. I can put this in the fridge. It cools off your head while you're sleeping, at least for the first few hours till it gets cooler overnight. This is a bottle jack. Then I got all my tools back here. Anything I need to fix the van, all right here. Behind it, I have my uh, hammock river tube go down the river. Also, up underneath here, I put shoes, uh, if I'm not wearing them currently. That's where I keep all my super secret stuff up under there. So don't tell anyone. Don't let this get millions of views. So when people ask me what I would do differently in the next van, the, the one thing I can think of is a bigger sink. This one's a small bar sink. Basically, it's hard to put a lot of dishes in. It's hard to even get one dish in there and clean it. So the thing is, it actually deterred me from eating so much um, from cooking because it just I just didn't want to clean the dishes afterwards. Just uh, and another reason is because the you know the drain goes down into the that gray water tank. So aside from that, I really can't think of anything else I would change in this van because this van is just amazing the way it is. I mean, I think it is because it's my house. If you like this video, go ahead and press the like button down below. I'm going to be building another van soon, very soon. I already have it. The This one's called Great White. The new one's called Megalodon because it's so much bigger and I can actually stand in it. So I'm, I'm super excited for that build. Basically, that's going to be everything this van is and a lot more. More. It's gonna have so much more innovation in that that I haven't seen in any other van, especially the shower system, which actually doesn't take a, any room at all when you're not using it. And no, it's not a curtain <laughs> that just goes around you. Um, but yeah, until then, I guess I'll see you in my next video. Peace.